Good evening. Tonight I will narrate a horror story from Reddit No Sleep. Author name, Lilith of the Deep. Story title, The Death Clock. I first saw the clock as a child in the hall at my grandfather's house. If I were pressed to explain why I even remember it, I would say it's because it never seemed to actually keep time, or at least not any time we humans know. All of this was quite strange, but strangest of all was, whenever it struck twelve without fail, someone in my family would die. First there was my Aunt Judy. To this day, I can vividly remember sitting at the table, sorting my baseball cards after lunch one afternoon, and noticing the hand had finally struck twelve before rapidly spinning back around to three. Around five minutes later, the home phone rang. It was a hospital. My aunt had been driving home from lunch when some maniac rammed into the side of her jeep, killing her instantly. My grandfather fit the phone onto the receiver with a sigh. Well, I guess you're old enough now. My grandfather murmured before sitting down across from me and explaining the clock's peculiar properties. According to him, his grandfather found it on the side of the road and picked it up, curious. Shortly after, however, he would come to fiercely regret it. He soon realized three things. One, the clock would count down to the death of a random person in the family it belonged to. Two, if the family it belonged to died out completely, it would belong to the family whosoever touched it next. Three, if you attempted to dispose of the clock, it would simply reappear, back in one's home. Of course, being young and naive, I didn't believe him, holding in my mind that it was just a coincidence. But I was forced to accept reality five years later, when the hand hit twelve again. This time, killing my cousin via complications and heart surgery. Without fail, year after year, the clock would reach 12 and someone would die. Eventually, death claimed my grandfather, and his will named me the sole inheritor of everything, including the clock. Honestly, I wanted nothing to do with the thing, but no matter what I tried, the clock would simply reappear in my room. I could, of course, ignore it, if not for that one little thing. The ticking the incessant reminder of all I've lost with every talk, tick, talk. Just ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking, leading to the eventual toll, its baritone chime driving me to madness. Day in and day out, almost as if taunting me, that scratchy metronome tick would pulse, getting louder and louder as it got closer and closer to the bold 12 superimposed in its face like an executioner's hood. This thing has taken everything and everyone I ever cared for. Even when I met the love of my life, the moment we got married, the clock decreed her impending doom, stealing happiness from my reach yet again. Only now, I have no more family left. It's standing there mocking me still with that infuriating tick. It's 11.58. I wonder how that will work then. Will it kill him too, if his whole family is dead and it hits midnight again? Huh. And how does the passage of time work? It's obviously not a clock. It's like it has a mind of its own. As he says, it's taunting him now and there's no way to get rid of it. I wonder though maybe if he moved and just left it around in his old house, would it materialize wherever he moved next? Might be worth a try. <laughs>